Coming to the most modern treatment for uh, poor responders or where the egg number or egg quantity or egg quality is less is called uh, ASCOT. It's a method of rejuvenation of the weaker ovaries. What is ASCOT? ASCOT is autologous stem cell ovarian cortical transplant. What does it mean? It means we take the special cells. Special cells are called stem cells that is there in the either in the fat tissues are there or the bone marrow it is there. So we prefer to take from the bone marrow but there's a very small procedure uh, which takes five to ten minutes. We aspirate under local anesthesia there will not be any pain. We collect the bone marrow and from that bone marrow after two to three hours of processing we isolate the stem cells and growth factors and this mixture of uh, stem cell growth factors will be injected into the ovarian cortex where the eggs are supposed to grow and this is done in majority of the cases it is done through laparoscopy again it takes a half an hour to 30 40 minutes maximum or if it is ovaries are not approachable through a laparoscopy because of previous additions then we opt through the transvaginal scan either way the stem cells what uh, that is deposited under the cortex they stimulate the small small follicles if there are we have been doing it for the past seven years and we have got several pregnancies where multiple failures up to 15 IV failed case we got a recently we got a baby after the stem cell treatment then even with the AMH as low as 0 0.03 those who know about the AMH they know that uh, the AMH normal AMH value, value level should be between 3 to 5 once it comes down the quantity and quality of the eggs comes down so even as low as 0 0.03 we had three babies born 0 0.05 we had a twins recently 0 0.08 0 0.1 0 0.5 several several pregnancies we had so below 0 0.03 we stopped doing it but still some patients insist and uh, only one patient so far we got a baby is 0 0.01 so we, uh, almost we stopped doing below 0 0.03 similarly the number of eggs also matters if the egg number is uh, zero then uh, there is no point in doing it if it is at least one to two are there we are comfortable in doing it and giving a pregnancy rate of uh, maybe around uh, 15 to up to 40 percent additional pregnancy rate we get after the stem cell treatment. It's a very cost effective treatment that has to be tried before uh, going for a donor or accepting for a donor oocytes.